Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to see how to make this beautiful table runner or table center piece. So it's a very easy and pretty project. So first let's see the measurement for our project. So it measures about, so from this end to that end, 66 cm which is about 26 inches. I have used this 100% acrylic yarn in two colors. And for crochet hook for this project, I have used a size 5 tulip crochet hook, which is a 3 mm crochet hook. So it's a very easy pattern. So let's get started. First, we are going to make a magic circle. And in this magic circle, we are going to chain 3. So this chain 3 counts as a double crochet. We are going to work another double crochet into the circle like this so we have two double crochets here then chain four three four make a single crochet into these two side loops like this so that makes a picot so that's our first set so we are going to repeat work two double crochets one two then chain four three four single crochet into these side loops and make a picot then again work two double crochets one two then chain four single crochet into these two side loops like this make a picot again work two double crochets one two then chain 4, then make a picot. So here you can see we have made 1, 2, 3, 4 sets. So we are going to work 4 more sets. So here I am done. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 picots. Now I am going to pull this yarn tail at the back and close the magic circle at the center. Then we are going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3. So here I am going to make a slip stitch like this and finish this round. So that's our first round. So let's start with our next round. So for that we are going to chain 3. So this chain 3 counts as a double crochet then chain 5. 3, 4, 5, then we are going to make a double crochet into this second double crochet in the set. So make a double crochet. So like this we will be repeating and chain 5 again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then work a double crochet on top of the second double crochet here near the picot. Make a double crochet. Then again chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Double crochet on top of the second double crochet like this. So like this we are going to repeat and finish this round. So here near the end of this round, I am going to make a slip stitch into the third chain. So here the third chain, I am going to make a slip stitch and finish this round. So that's the end of this round. For the next round, I am going to make a slip stitch into this chain 5 space. Then chain 3 which counts as a double crochet and work 4 more double crochet into the same space. One. 2, 3 and 4. So we have 5 double crochets including the first chain 3. Then chain 2 and work 5 double crochets into the next space. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 
then we will repeat the same chain 2 5 double crochets into the next space 1 2 3 4 and 5 so like this we will repeat and finish this round so here I am near the end of this round I have made chain 2 now I am going to make a slip stitch on top of this first chain 3 like this so that's the end of this round so for the next round we are going to chain 3 which counts as a double crochet and work another double crochet into the same stitch so this makes a increase then work one double crochet into the next three stitches one two three then again we will increase in the next stitch so one and two in the same stitch so we have increased in the first and last stitch we have seven double crochets we will repeat the same chain two increase in the first stitch just one and two double crochet in the same stitch then work one double crochet into the next three stitches one two three then we will increase in the last stitch one and two then again chain two and we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round so here i have finished this round so next round chain three and double crochet into the same stitch which is the increase Then work one double crochets into the next stitches one, two, three, four, five. So we have five double crochets, and again increase in the last stitch one and two in the same stitch so like this we will repeat so let's chain two increase in the first stitch so one two then work one double crochet in the next five stitches one two three four five then increase in the last stitch one and two in the same stitch then chain two and we will repeat the same pattern and finish this round in here so here i have finished this round for the next round we are going to chain three and work one double crochet in all the stitches so this counts as one double crochet then two three four five six seven eight and nine so we have nine double crochets in total then we will chain five and work nine double crochets here again one two three four five six seven eight and nine so again we have nine double crochets then we will chain five and again we will work nine double crochets and we will repeat the same pattern and finish this round so here i have finished this round so from the next round on we are going to decrease so slip stitch into the next stitch 
and we will chain 3. We are going to work 1 double crochet into the next 6 stitches. 1 2 3 4 5 and 6. So we have 7 double crochets in total. So now here chain 5, 3, 4, 5 and we are going to work 3 double crochets into this chain 5 space. 1, 2, 3. Then we will chain 2 and work 3 more double crochets into the same space. 1, 2 and 3. So here like this then chain 5, 3, 4, 5 and here we are going to skip the first and last stitch and work the center 7 double crochet. So skip the first stitch then work 7 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So we have 7 double crochets here. Then we will skip the last stitch. Then chain 5. Then here in the next space we will work a single crochet. Then again chain 5 and do the same here. 7 double crochets. 1. So here you can see here in the space we have made this pattern and another pattern in the next space. So we will repeat these two patterns in the spaces. Let's make the double crochets. 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then chain 5. So in this space we will make the first pattern. So 1, 2, 3 double crochet then chain 2 and work 3 more double crochets into the same space. 1, 2 and 3. Then we will chain 5 again and skip the first and last double crochet and work 7 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Then here we are in the next space. So chain 5. We will do the second pattern that is we will single crochet into the space. Then chain 5, 4, 5. And we will work 7 double crochets here. So here like this we will repeat. So here we are going to repeat this pattern in the corners that is in the spaces alternatively and we will finish this round. So here I have finished this round make the slip stitch into the chain 3. And for the next round slip stitch into the next stitch and chain 3. And into the next 4 stitches we are going to work 4 double crochet together. So just pass through the first 2 loops in every double crochet. So third one. Then fourth one. So we have 5 loops. So pull the yarn through all the loops and close like this. Then chain 5, 3, 4, 5 
and we are going to make a single crochet here in this chain 5 then chain 5 again 1 2 3 4 5 and into this chain 2 space we are work 3 double crochets 1 2 3 then chain 2 work 3 more double crochet into the same space 1 2 and 3 then we will chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 single crochet into this chain 5 space then again chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 so here we have made like this in this corner we will skip the first and last stitch and work 5 double crochet together in between so 1 2 3 4 and 5 then yarn over pull through all the loops like this and close and then chain 5 again 3 4 5 single crochet into this chain 5 space then chain 5 again and single crochet into this next chain 5 space then work chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 so again skip the first and last stitch and work 5 double crochet together in between 1 2 3 4 and 5 then pull through all the loops and again chain 5 4 5 single crochet into this chain 5 and again chain 5 then into this chain 2 space we will work the same 3 double crochets 1 2 3 then chain 2 work 3 more double crochets into the same space 1 2 and 3 then we will chain 5 single crochet into this chain 5 space then again chain 5 work 5 double crochet together 1 2 3 4 5 pull through all the loops then we will chain 5 3 4 5 single crochet into the chain 5 space again chain 5 3 4 5 single crochet into the chain 5 space again chain 5 and we will do 5 double crochet together and we are going to repeat the same pattern around and finish this round in here so here I'm near the end of this round I have made chain 5 now I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of this first 4 double crochet together like this so here we have finished this round so for the next round we are going to slip stitch all the way up here so we are going to keep on working slip stitch on all these chains so 1 2 3 4 5 slip stitch in the single crochet then again work 5 slip stitch 1 2 3 
4 5 then work slip stitch on top of these three double crochets 1 2 3 and slip stitch into the chain 2 space so here we have made slip stitch all the way here so let's start the next round so chain 3 and work 2 double crochets into the same space 1 2 so we have 3 double crochets here then chain 2 and work 3 more double crochets into the same space 1 2 and 3 and then we will chain 5 3 4 5 single crochet into this chain 5 space then again chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 single crochet into this next space again chain 5 and we are going to skip this stitch and work single crochet into the next space then again chain 5 single crochet into the next space then again chain 5 single crochet into the next space chain 5 single crochet into the next space then again chain 5 single crochet into the next space then again chain 5 3 4 5 so here we are at the next corner so work 3 double crochets into this chain 2 space 1 2 3 then chain 2 work 3 more double crochet into the same space 2 3 and then chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 single crochet into the next space and we are going to repeat this same pattern on all four sides and finish this round in here so here I have finished this round so for next round is also similar I'm going to make slip stitch into the next two stitch and into the chain two space so one two and slip stitch into the chain two space and then we will repeat the same chain three Two double crochets into the same space then chain two three double crochets in the same space one two and three then we will repeat the same pattern all along chain five single crochet into the chain five space chain five single crochet into the space chain 5 single crochet into the next space so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern like the previous round and finish in here so here I have finished this round so from the next round we are going to work on this one side so we are going to make a triangle like shape in here on this side so for that chain 3 sorry chain 5 and we are going to work 3 double crochets into this chain 2 space 1 2 and 3 so we have three double crochets then we are going to chain five and work single crochet into this next space then again chain five single crochet into the next space chain five single crochet into the next space chain five single crochet into the next space so we will repeat this till this last chain 5 space so here I am at the last chain 5 
so now here we are going to chain 5 and into this chain 2 space I'm going to work 3 double crochets 1 2 and 3 so we have 3 double crochets here now we are going to chain 2 and work 1 double crochet into this third stitch 1 2 3 so into this third stitch let's work 1 double crochet so here we have finished one row on this side then we are going to flip our work like this to the other side so like this we will start the next round in here so we are going to work slip stitch into this first double crochet so work two slip stitch one two and slip stitch on top of the first stitch so we'll start the next round in here so we are going to chain 5 3 4 5 and we are going to work 3 double crochets into this first chain 5 space in this corner 1 2 and 3 like this then chain 5 3 4 5 single crochet into the next space chain 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 5 single crochet into the next space so here we have our last space so we are going to chain 5 and work 3 double crochets into this space 1 2 3 in the left corner like this and then we are going to chain 5 1 2 Sorry, chain 2 and work a double crochet into the third stitch like this so that's our second row on this side so like this we are going to repeat so again we are going to flip our work to the other side like this and work two slip stitches one two and slip stitch in the first stitch and chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 work 3 double crochets in the right corner of the first space 1 2 3 then we are going to chain 5 3 4 5 single crochet in the next space so like this we are going to repeat until this space here so here we are near the last space so chain 5 and work 3 double crochets into this left corner of the last space 1 2 3 then chain 2 and work 1 double crochet into the third stitch so that's our third row so here we will flip the round and we will repeat the same so here you can see we have one two three three rows here so we are going to repeat the same pattern for five more rows that is until row eight so i'm going to finish all the five rounds so here i have finished now you can see we have one two three four five six seven eight rounds in total so let's continue with the next round so for that 
repeat the same slip stitch into the two chains one two and slip stitch on the stitch like this then chain five and work three double crochets here one two three and then chain five so three four five and we are going to make a single crochet into this next space then chain five three four five so into the last space work three double crochets one two and three then chain two and work double crochet into the third stitch like this then we are going to flip our work we will work the last round so for that slip stitch into the next two chains one two slip stitch on top of the first stitch then chain five three four five and work three double crochets into the chain five space one two and three then we are going to chain three and work three double crochets into this next space left corner one two three then chain two and double crochet into the third stitch like this then chain one and i'm going to cut off the yarn pull the yarn through so here we have finished this side of our project so you can see we will have a total of 10 rows on this side so similarly we are going to work the other side also in the same way so for that we are going to join the same blue color again onto the other side so here I am going to join into the first double crochet here. So make a slip knot. Pull the yarn through here. And we will chain 5 and work 3 double crochets into the chain 2 space. So 1 two three then chain five one two three four five single crochet into the chain five space again chain five single crochet in the next space so like this we are going to continue so here i'm near this end so chain five and work three double crochets into this chain two space one two and three then chain two and double crochet into the third stitch and we will flip our work and do the same the other side make two slip stitches in the two chains and slip stitch into the first stitch then we will chain five three four five work three double crochets into this first space right corner two three then we will chain five three four five single crochet into the next space then again chain 5 single crochet into the next space and we are going to repeat this same pattern so here I am near this end so we will chain 5 and in the last space we are going to work 3 double crochets into the left corner 1 2 3 then chain 2 
and work double crochet into the third stitch one two three so here we have finished two rows so we are going to repeat the same pattern so like we did on the other side we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish the other side in this same way so that's the end of the part one of our video tutorial so i will add the description for the part two in the link below so thanks for watching my video guys and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you